In this video, we will be showing you the entire blood transfusion station in real time. We will be using a cannula to take the bloods. Begin by cleaning your hands thoroughly. Once done, you can collect your tray and clean with a Clonel wipe, starting from the inside and working outwards. Once done, place a giving set into the tray. along with 0.9% sodium chloride, making sure to check the drug, dose and date. Take the foil off the top of the saline bottle, close the roller ball of the giving set firmly and remove the cap over the spike. Then insert the spike of the giving set into the saline bottle, making sure not to touch the key parts. Squeeze the chamber of the giving set until it's about half full. At this point, you can hang your infusion on a stand. Open the roller ball smoothly to ensure no bubbles form in the tubing. Let the saline fill the tubing up to the end. You can then close the roller ball and hang up the tubing. Once you've prepared your infusion, you can move on to prepping your tray for cannulation and blood taking. Clean your hands thoroughly as before. And then clean your tray with a Clonel wipe. Next, collect all the equipment that you'll need, discarding of any packaging that you don't want to take to the patient's bedside. You will need one pair of sterile gloves, a tourniquet, three chlorhexidine wipes, which you can open at this point, a blue cannula, a vacutainer and adapter which you can attach, a bung which you can now attach to the vacutainer. A cannula plaster. a purple blood tube, and aerobic and anaerobic blood culture bottles, though here I have only one, a VBG syringe, and finally a saline flush which you'll need to prepare. You will prepare the flush by attaching a 10 milliliter syringe to a blunt fill needle.
find sodium chloride and check the date. Then unsheathe your needle and draw up. Discard of the sharp immediately. Then get rid of any air left in the syringe and place back in the packaging. You will need some gauze for the cannula. And to remove the top from your blood culture bottles, which you can then clean with a chlorhexidine wipe. If you are cleaning two bottles, you can clean with the same wipe, but making sure to use different areas. You are now ready to approach the patient bedside. This is how your tray should look before you approach the patient bedside. Note you might have two blood culture bottles instead of one. At the patient bedside, clean your hands thoroughly as before. And put on your non-sterile gloves. Identify the patient by their wristband. and place the tourniquet. Palpate for a vein and open a chlorhexidine wipe into a parachute. Then clean the area thoroughly in a grid pattern. Prepare your cannula. Anchor the skin and advance the cannula until you see primary flashback. Then, retract the needle slightly and advance the cannula fully into the vein. Place your gauze. Undo the tourniquet. And remove the cannula needle, discarding immediately into a sharps bin. You can now attach your bung and vacutainer. Take your aerobic and then anaerobic blood cultures making sure to angle the bottle downwards so the solution in the bottle doesn't enter the cannula. Invert the bottles and draw blood into the purple blood tube. Finally, Draw blood into the VBG syringe. And expel any air. You can now remove the vacutainer from the bung by twisting it. as well as disposing of the gauze.
You can secure the wings of the cannula with the cannula sticker strips before wiping the bung and administering the 5ml saline flush. Use a chlorhexidine wipe to wipe the bung. and give the saline flush, looking for any swelling around the cannula site. You can now apply the rest of the cannula sticker. Clean the end of the bung once more with a chlorhexidine wipe. Then remove the cap from the end of the infusion tubing. And attach to the bung by twisting clockwise. Release the roller ball and look for drips in the chamber of the giving set. The rate of infusion can be calculated via the drip rate. Before leaving the patient bedside, ensure you have completed the date and time sticker for the cannula, found on the cam cannula sticker. as well as labelling the blood bottles appropriately, either by hand or through printed stickers. Discard of any waste. Remove your gloves using a pinch-pull technique. And clean your hands once more. This is the end of the blood transfusion station.